vagina. A giant gaping hungry vagina. <laughs> Oh shit. Is waking up over here. What do you guys want? Time to cash out. What are you talking about? We could get it over with. Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? I'm all tied up. You seem like a fink to me. You've made your last delivery, kid. It's my first delivery. Sorry you got twisted up in this. I didn't scene. even make it. Oh fuck no, please. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Come on, man, please. I just want to go home. Truth is, please. The game was rigged from the start. <gasps> uh. What? You're awake. How about that? Is this heaven? Oh. oh easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a sec? Get Who are you? Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? I think so. Uh, I think it's Brandon. Maybe? <laughs> I can't say that's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name... That's oh, you a smart name. Alec, huh? Welcome to Hi, Mitchell. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin. Bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Okay. Well, let's have a look here. Well, it looks ri about right to me, Doc. I suppose. Yeah, out of work. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that matters. That's true. Okay. No Could have added a couple down. inches in my pants if you wanted. <clears throat> if we can get ah. Ah, a little wobbly. Good. Ah. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that vigor tester machine. Oh yeah, I can tell you how much vigor I have. Now, it ain't a race. Uh not much. Oh. Well, I suppose uh there's a, a run of bad luck and then a run of pretty good luck. Let's see what this machine's all about. You're looking good so far. Oof, almost fell into it. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. Hmm. You'll learn right quick if you get back all your facts. I just squeeze this thing, I guess? Well, you know, Doc, those scores do seem just about right. Uh, my perception and luck are obviously low, as I've ended up in this situation. Uh, don't make a lick of sense. Hmm. Seems to me you're the luckiest son of a gun in New Vegas. I don't know about that, well, Doc. I know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a big one and drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still My bad. dogs usually means feet, dog, but my head is feeling all woozy. Let's have a talk. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Sure. Cock. Yeah. Fuck. Cat. House. Uh, shelter. Night. Shroud. Bandit. Kill. Where's kill? Yeah, stab. Light. Ah, uh, heavy. Murder. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think now I did really I good. Statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. All right. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. That seems about right to me. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Also quite true. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Well, yeah, yeah, maybe. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I am quite stuck in my ways, but uh, I'll, I'll give it a chance, I think. I disagree slightly. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. No, definitely not. I love to procrastinate. Here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you A say. baby with his head held underwater. <laughs> an oozing wound. Okay. It's a knife, or a sword, or a dick. Yeah, let's say it's a dick. <laughs> um, what does it look like? A vagina, a giant gaping hungry vagina. <laughs> let's say a bearded man. <laughs> well, that's all she wrote. Uh oh. You don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right. Yeah, give me my cheat sheet, Doc. 
Yeah, that looks good. Oh, oh, oh. Speech sounds good. Science. Speech and science sound about right, but I will change energy weapons to guns. Just because they're a little more plentiful out here. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. I, I don't Just even remember much of my medical history. I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Ah, uh, let's see what we got here. Good natured, that's me. Mm-hmm. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Well, I, I do appreciate that there, Doc. Got quite a nice nice little home here. Uh, I think my legs still ain't working quite right. I only got lots of rooms back there. You don't want me to go back there? I, I guess I won't go back there. Ah, uh, I appreciate it, you, Doc. These are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Mm. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip ball. Wow. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. I appreciate that, Doc, for patching me up and whatnot. I, I don't know what you mean by a loss, but uh, I didn't want you to know that I appreciate it. You can go through my stuff all you want. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Victor. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. I appreciate it, Doc. You're, you're a kind man. Doing the Lord's work out here. Well, let's see where we ended up, I suppose. Ah! It is so bright out here. Alright, let's see. Ah. Well, water tower. Got a little uh, windmill going there. Hmm. That could be the meta fella the doc was talking about. Hey there, guy. How you doing? Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a Yeah, thanks to that, Doc Mitchell. I'd like to thank you for digging me out of that grave, partner. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. You're too kind. Do you know who those men were or what they wanted? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. I'll consider asking around. I, I thank you again, Victor. Happy trails. And to you, sir. Interesting. Well, I'm not sure what those men wanted. It seems a platinum chip, but it doesn't seem that, like it would make that much of a difference. Just like a regular poker chip, wasn't it? I looked in the box before we set out on the road. Guess we should stop in the general store, see what we could get. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching yep. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Hmm. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Interesting, Chet. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to walk out of that doctor's... <coughs> Ooh, a little bit uh, left in me, I suppose. I didn't think I was going to walk out of that doctor's office neither. You show me what you have for sale. Can do. Appreciate that. Now, I'm looking pretty poor at the moment, but uh, I reckon I have some stuff that I could uh, pass your way for a decent price. You like this machete here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mmm. That'll do for now. I appreciate it. You helping me get on my feet and whatnot.
Another satisfied customer. Quite satisfied, Chad. Easy now. And you as well. Thanks, sir. Seems like a friendly enough town. I, I, I can get behind this. See what I got. As far as weapons. I'm going to start out with this little, little pistol. Oh, we got a shotgun. Yeah, that's a man's weapon right there. Uh, what do we got as far as armor? Hmm. I'll go for the, uh, the armored suits. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. If I do say so myself. Oh, that's locked. I better not go in there. Hey, howdy to you, partner. <laughs> Checking out that tumbleweed? Yeah, it's funny, huh? Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Ah, uh, Easy Pete? Why'd they call you Easy Pete, Easy Pete? That's gross. I don't want none. Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and the Big Horners. That sounds like a good old time. So you like Dick for Gold and Silver? Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. <laughs> Way I see it, salvage means it's broken near worthless me i look for the good stuff guns cams spare parts good money in it well you might be a little old for for that nowadays what do you know about victor that fella the machine harmless no matter what trudy says she thinks it's hiding something but i think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be mm, just like you <laughs> just like me Ah, you take it easy. You go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. I appreciate the advice, Easy Pete. Y'all take it easy now. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. I, I apologize. Oh, whoa. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Well, you you just walk around with the dog in a bar. Look, I'm I'm a little short on cap still, even after selling to that Chet fella, so I'm wondering if maybe you got some work around here. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. I might check that Most out. What's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Hmm. Magazine on locksmiths? If the lock's too much for you to handle, reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. Interesting. And the bobby pants? You'll need those to pick the lock. Be careful though. Put too much pressure on them and they'll snap. Well, it is a thin sort of metal. Thank you. I'll go take a look at that safe. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. Yeah, down on my luck indeed. I gotta get over to Prim. Do you know how to get that way? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with the roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. Town with the and roller Sarah coaster. Do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Hmm. Well, uh, I do appreciate that, Sonny. You take Until it easy. Time. Hmm. Still wary of that dog. Dog walking around in the bar. Hmm. There's nobody back here. Maybe I just take a little whiskey. Just a little something for later, eh? Guess I should go check out that there schoolhouse. I do got my shotgun right handy. As long as I can uh, pick my way in. I suppose that's what's inferred by her giving me the, the lock picks. This is a strange little town, I tell you what. Not much to do out here. Oh well. I might like to check out New Vegas and get some gambling done. My luck was going relatively well before this uh, whole incident. Hmm. Schoolhouse. Wide open. That's right. Get out of here. Oh boy. One more. Oh, you got me. You got me, partner. That's right. 
Got some more. You want some? Come and get some. <laughs> no problem. Reload that. Now he seems to be taking some cover. So I'll take some cover up on these boxes. <laughs> That'll work just fine. What's this here? Oh, Jesus! Oh, Lord! Oh, no, no, no! Uh-oh. I better take some cover as well. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Little guy. Hold it, hold it. Wow. They are everywhere. Probably uh, burnt more ammo than I should on those little fellers. But we also didn't get touched, so... There is a little positive. Hmm. Let's try this terminal. Perhaps it's connected to the safe? Yeah. I remember all this. Thank goodness this part of my brain wasn't affected. Well, the computers do take up a large portion of our brain, so... I guess that makes sense. Four attempts left. Showing. Wow. Wow. My luck's turned around already. Log on admin. Showing. Now show me what you got inside that safe. Disengage that lock. Yeah, boy. There we go. Look at all this goodness. All for Dayton. Hmm. That might be all that's in the schoolhouse. Cherry bomb. Ain't got much use for that. Bobby pins. Ah. Seems like a bunch of junk in here. I guess we'll be on our way. Wonderful. Let's uh, check the map. Well, I suppose we should get on the road to Prim. Seems like the most... Uh, the most sensible thing to do. I'm running a little low on these shotgun shells since I had a mantis swarm come after me, but... We'll roll the dice. I think it'll be alright. Maybe my luck will turn around after all. Ah, uh, can hardly remember why I came out this way. Seems like a, a crazy thing. After the bombs fell, everything just kind of came apart. My family split their separate ways. Doesn't make much sense in the apocalypse. But oh well, this is what we're going to deal with now. My mom went into a bunker with my brother, my sister, my dad uh, basically ran off. He was trying to look for supplies, bring back some food. And uh, I thought shutting yourself in a bunker is going to be like the worst way that you could possibly. Oh, look, there's a roller coaster. It's like that. Just like that lady said. Yeah, locking yourself in a bunker is a terrible idea. Hey, look. There's a fella over there. Hey, fella. How you doing there? What y'all doing? Oh, oh my. That's not good. Could I have this? <laughs> I appreciate that. I did. Damn, running low on smokes again. Yeah, I I tell you what, boy, it's tough living out here. They seem like nice fellas, powder gangers. That seems like a, a friendly sort of name. Maybe I'll I'll get along with them, perhaps. First, I gotta check out what's happening in Prim. One, two, three. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.